hello my creatively intelligent artists welcome back to art class everyone in today's class we are going to be creating a cityscape inspired by the african-american artist called jacob lawrence jacob lawrence was one of the first nationally recognized African-American artists. He was known for documenting African-American experience in several series devoted to Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, the life in Harlem, and the civil rights movement of the 1960s. And today, we are going to be creating a collage inspired cityscape similar to the one of the famous Jacob Lawrence. Grab your materials and let's go! So we are going to start with our blue paper because the blue can be used for the sky and we're going to add all the pieces of the collage to this blue paper. We're getting a black paper if you have gray that can work great as well. We are using this for the road. So what I'm doing is folding the black paper, making sure the sides are even so I get a straight line across. This makes it way easier for me to cut and to get a full even rectangle. Now that we have gotten the piece cut off, we're going to glue it to the bottom of our paper because we want the road to be at the bottom. Try to get as much glue on the paper as possible so that it gives you a really good stick. When you are putting the road on the bigger paper, make sure you do your smoothing and tap it down so that it holds firmly. You can even count to five to make sure that it holds firmly. Let's get our white paper. We are going to use the white paper to create the church or the chapel in Jacob Lawrence's artwork. We're going to start with a triangle for the top of the tower are the chapel and then for the bottom we are going to do a rectangle Grab your scissors and let's cut out our tower. Once you're finished cutting out your tower, I am measuring to make sure that it fits nicely on the edge of the road. And you're going to add the glue to the back of your tower and then we're going to glue it down right above the road. But make sure it is sitting on the top line for the road. Let's get our white paper again and we're going to create the side of the church. You can draw a rectangle on your white paper first and then cut it out or you can just go ahead and cut a rectangle out of your white paper so that we can add it to the side of the church. Once you are finished cutting it out, you can go ahead and glue it above the road. Then you are going to get your white paper and you are going to cut a small strip. We're going to use this to create the cross on the top of the church. Remember, if I'm moving too fast, you can always hit the pause button. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to get my blue paper and I'm going to draw two rectangles. These two rectangles will be used to create the stained glass effect that is found on the church windows. Once you're finished drawing your rectangles, you can go ahead and cut them out. And then we're going to glue them onto the small rectangle to the side of the tower part of the church. To get the stained glass effect on the window, I'm going to cut small shapes out of my yellow and red paper. They don't have to be any specific shapes, you can just play around with your scissors to get unique shapes. I'm cutting two, one for each window and then I'll glue it on. You can glue it on in any way you like and once you add the red to it, it will give you that stained glass effect. Now it's time for us to add another window to the top part of our tower and you can draw your rectangle and then cut it out or you can just use your scissors to cut out a rectangle without drawing it. And of course we are going to repeat the steps to get the stained glass effect on the window. Now it's time for us to add the door to our chapel. I'm using purple to create my door. You can decide what color you want your door to be. I'm using rainbow line for the top of my door and a straight line coming down for the side. And it is up to you. You can do a rectangle for the door and then just glue it onto the bottom. You can also measure it if it's too big. You can always cut the sides down. Now, our cityscape cannot be a cityscape without houses, right? Our apartments, our high-rising buildings. So I'm going to use green to create my first apartment. And to draw it, I'm just going to draw a big rectangle and then cut it out because I'm making it as simple as possible. Now that we are finished cutting out our rectangle for our building, we are going to add our glue and then glue it right beside our church. Now what's missing from our building? Yes, windows. I'm going to use my yellow paper to cut a few rectangle shapes so that I can use them for my window. But you can get creative and if you have any other shape you think would look nice, you can draw them and then cut them out to use for your windows. Thank you. 
now i'm going to add another building this one will be my beauty shop just like the one that jacob lawrence has in his artwork for the top of mine i'm just going to make a, an upside down v shape and then cut it out you decide what shape you want your building to be once you're finished cutting out your building go ahead and add some glue and let's add it to the background of our paper once you are finished gluing your building you can decide what color or colors you would like your windows to be and of course you can cut simple rectangles to create the windows for your building Once you are finished cutting out your windows, you can go ahead and glue it onto your building. One thing that I have noticed in Jacob's painting is that he has a fence surrounding the beauty shop. So I'm going to use a brown paper to draw my fence. Now to draw your fence, you are going to use zigzag lines or V shapes and vertical lines. Once you are finished, you can go ahead and cut it out. When you are cutting out the top of the fence, turn your paper to match the direction that the line goes in. That helps you to get a clean cut and it is an easier way for you to manage the paper. Once you're finished, you can use your marker to highlight parts of your fence. I have a small space left where I can add one more or a part of a building. So what I'll do is use my paper to draw a small part of a building. I'm going to do a diagonal line and a vertical line and then cut it out. If you have space, you can do another rectangular building, a part of it, or if you have a big space, you can do a full building. It is up to you. Once you're finished, cut it out and then glue it onto your paper. Now I'm going to add my fence in front of those two buildings. Now my last building is missing a few windows. So I'm going to use my yellow paper to create a few more windows and add it to my purple building. Now that I'm finished with my buildings, I'm going to go ahead and cut a small piece of yellow strip. This will be for the lines on the road.
now that we have our road finished it is time for us to draw our car now you can draw any type of car that you like i'm going to draw a simple car using rectangular shapes Once you're finished drawing your car, you can go ahead and cut it out. So I'm going to use white to add the glass to my car window. So I'm going to draw a rectangle or a square, depending on what you'd like, cut it out and then glue it at the top of the car because we want our car to be on point. Our car is dripping like, guys, Tesla has nothing on this car, okay? <laughs> now let's add our wheels to our car. So I'm folding a brown paper in two so that when I draw my circle, I can just hold it, cut it out, and end up with two circles for the wheels. And of course, if you want to be creative and add some rims to your wheels, you know, you can go ahead, get that car dripping, you know. <laughs> Don't forget to pat, pat, pat the wheels onto the car so that they are firmly on there and then glue your car on the road. Guys, I am so proud of how your artworks are looking. You are doing a superb job. Now, the last thing I'm going to add to my building, the red one, is the beauty shop sign. And I think that is one of the signature that will show that this artwork is in fact inspired by Jacob Lawrence. guys i am so proud of you we did it yay we created another amazing artwork i had fun with you guys in our class if you had fun with me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you all next time goodbye